Uh, get yourself a new shirt of any kind. See what I mean? So I'm going to turn it slowly. I already got compression on the other side. I put in the spark plugs, which I prob probably shouldn't. But that's okay. Okay, looks good. Leave it halfway. Get it ready for the gasket. Alright, new gasket. Goes one way. Can't really mess this up. It moves a little bit, so I like to put it, try and make it... Leave it in the center, is what I'm trying to say. More or less. Probably won't make a difference, but... Uh, I'm gonna fall asleep you know, sooner than later. Aim for the dowel pins first. No, not touching the gasket. Okay. There we go. Easy. Now what I do with the bolts, I'm reusing these bolts by the way. I just put oil on the threads. On the bottom and top side of the washer. That's it, drop it in. Two of these are black. They're gonna go in the middle. I think. Now, some people just dip these bolts in oil. Your choice. Either way you do it, this is an important step. Make sure you do it. It ensures you have proper torque. Alright guys, following this procedure, okay, so we did the oil thing on the threads, tighten all bolts to 21.4 in alphabetical sequence, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, and then to 50.9, same alphabetical sequence. A, B, C, D, E, F. Then you back it off by 180 degrees. I'm going to use a breaker bar for this in reverse order of the installation. So it's going to be, what is it? F, E, D, C, A, B, right? Just reverse. Then do 180 again. Then that's just a kind of a gasket crushing procedure. Then they're all going to be loose by the time then it's back to tightening and again a b you know and so on to 31 foot pounds and then it's gonna be 80 to 90 degrees and then again 40 to 45 degrees and here are some rules you can read through and then a and b will tighten again by another 45 degrees so the two middle ones all right, first step, 21.4. What I like to do is get it to, get all of them to 10. A, B, what was it? C, 
D E F is now 21.4 A B C was it? Yeah. C D E F fifty point nine. Now notice no cracking of the bolts, no noise at all, nice and smooth. That's the oil. If you would have, you know, experienced uh, these weird noises like, you know, you're tightening it up and it's go, it like cracks on you and like you sometimes take them off. Once you're done with the crushing procedure, take that one out and put more oil on it. Okay, now the other way to loosening it. So I got about. So F was it F E okay this one D Okay, another 180. Now it's basically loose. Okay. Okay, now it's 31, but again I'm gonna do, you know, 10 for example. Okay, now 31. If you're using one of these torque wrenches for the first time, go slow. Because if you yank on it, it will get to its specification faster. So once you're close to the number you want, go slower. Okay, now we need to set it down. It needs to calibrate on its own, I'm going to change it to, I'm actually going to do 89, actually 88, because it's from 80 to 90, so I'm going to go 88, because there's a chance I'm going to go over the 88, because it says 80 to 90, and next step is 40 to 45, and do not exceed the total of 90 and blah blah blah, so just to be safe, I'm going to go 88. Eighty-eight. Hit ninety on this one. Ninety again. All right. So now forty. What was it? All right. So now forty to forty-five. It's going to go forty-three. Forty-four. The tighter it gets, the harder it is to aim for the ex exact number. Forty-four again. Forty-four every time. Forty-four. All right, and then another forty-five or forty-four on the A and B.
All right, 44 on every single one. Good stuff.